Uh, we just recently found out, been nominated for one of the top new restaurants in Canada by En Route Magazine. Uh, very honored to be in the great company of some great restaurants, 35 of us across Canada. So, so tell us a little bit about how you guys made it onto that list. Um, being a new restaurant, obviously we're going to have reviewers come by. First started with Carl Wells, our local man, and then um, unbeknownst to us, we had the reviewers in En Route Magazine. Shortly after that, we had an email from a fact checker from En Route. And then about a week ago, we got the news we were nominated. And what was your first so, thought when you heard that? Uh, very excited, for sure. Like I said, you know, you're on the name. Uh, you're on a list with some very heavy hitters, some great names from St. John's, you know, the Raymonds, Merchant, Adelaide, Fogo, Mallard, all those guys. So, honored just to be mentioned in that company. Absolutely. And tell us a little bit about your restaurant. A uh, very small restaurant, open in March. We have about 32 seats here. So we focus strongly on Canadian Newfoundland product. We just try to showcase the best technique we can using the best product that we can. We just like to have fun in our cooking. Unpretentious, very fun atmosphere, you know, so. And it's working yeah. out for you, obviously. Yeah, it's been great, you know. It's been really fun. Times are good. You know, Newfoundland's a great place to be a chef right now. And this news only came out a couple of days ago, so have you noticed people coming in more frequently? Yeah, like I said, about a week ago, myself and my partner, Megan Adshade, our pastry chef as well and bar manager, uh, we found out the news and we were in the midst of doing a promotional campaign. So we was like, let's hold off and see what this is gonna do for us. But as soon as it was announced, we see our reservation book climb, lots of phone calls, lots of publicity from local media, so it's been, really great and we hear uh, we have some restaurants in the city that are closing the economy is a little bit shaky but you guys seem to be doing fine does it seem to be slowing down for uh, you at all times or? are definitely different than they were years ago with the oil money not being here mm -hmm. but i think we played to the fact that that is inherent so like i said we try to offer a high caliber meal for a very reasonable cost right you know so we have a late night menu which attracts lots of industry which has been very good for us and seems to be a niche that was missing in the city. Awesome. So, so when will we know? Uh, October, November, I believe, if you make the top ten. Yeah. So, hopefully, let's get those votes in and. Yeah, yeah. and where and where can people vote? Uh, Eatandvote.com. They're on route, so you go on and make your vote. You can vote daily. So we'd like to have Newfoundland on the top ten again. So if everyone could give us a shout out and a little vote, it'd be amazing. Awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. No problem. Thank you.